The international multi-billion dollar corporation Google, which has had to navigate the laws and regulations of countries around the world, has found that it just can't deal with the burdens put on it by the federal government in Canada, so has decided it will not allow political advertisers to, well, advertise in the lead up to the 2019 federal election. Now, this is a significant decision. Google stands to lose a lot of money by its announcement made this week that no political candidates or political parties will be allowed to advertise once Bill C-76 goes into effect. This is a bill put forward by the Liberals as a way to apparently safeguard Canada's elections, but a lot of what's in there has been a knee-jerk reaction to the whole Russia collusion boogeyman discussion emanating from the United States. One of the major regulations put on any advertisers under C-76 is that they must have a complete inventory of pretty much every political ad imaginable and every political advertiser, and this must be made available and made transparent. But with how much of Google's process is automated, the company said it just would not be able to comply with this, and as such, it's needing to say farewell to a lot of ad money. And when we talk about how significant a player Google is in political advertising, we have to look at one study that was published in 2016 that found about 48% of all advertising in Canada takes place with Google. All online advertising takes place with Google, 48%. So even Facebook and Twitter, which so far have not made a similar decision, are significantly smaller players than Google is. Now, Google made a decision, and the government has said it was a business decision, but Google, for its part, has said it's actually very disappointed. You see, Google warned the government during the C-76 discussions that it would not be able to comply with these regulations, and the government did nothing about it. The government didn't heed these concerns. And as much as Google may not be the most sympathetic player, we have to look at who this impacts. The candidates and parties that would be trying to advertise on Google. And who is it that typically relies more on political advertising? Opposition parties and candidates. Which means that the Justin Trudeau Liberals have in many respects made it easier for themselves as incumbents to campaign because governments are still allowed to advertise. The government can still advertise on Google. The government can still advertise on YouTube. Government MPs can still advertise if it's related to their role as members of parliament. But political candidates and parties cannot advertise as such. So what's going to happen here is we're going to see a lot more government advertising. Ads saying the government of Canada is doing this for you. MPs saying, hey, my office is over here if you have any questions. And the Conservatives, the NDP, and the Green Party, to some extent, will have a harder time getting their message in front of the eyes that need to see it for them to effectively campaign. But there's another dimension to this. You see, one of the things Justin Trudeau has done to help buy himself re-election has been to put $595 million into the mainstream media, a payoff of the newspaper industry. Well, in the absence of Google as an advertising platform, that means a lot more people are going to have to start looking at traditional media, which makes me wonder if a part of this has been almost a deliberate sabotage so that even more money will have to be funneled into mainstream media, even if politicians and political parties feel that that is not the best way to spend their ad dollars. Well, now there are just fewer options because of this. So Justin Trudeau, which claims it's opening up Canada for business, has managed to regulate one of the largest companies out of one of the largest industries, which is online advertising. And we're supposed to believe that he won't do that with other sectors. Well, color me surprised. For True North, I'm Andrew Lutton.